back to the Entertainment Vortex. Today, we were at Brandon Theaters watching Stuber. Now, this was a surprise film for me. We saw the trailer about a month ago, and I laughed out loud during the trailer. I had no idea this was even a thing. I didn't know they had this buddy movie coming out uh, with Batista, of all people. So I was really shocked when it started. Kind of rolled my eyes a little bit, like, what are we looking at? A cop and an Uber driver? What in the world? But the, as the trailer went along and you had moments, I thought it was hilarious. But, that being said, I was pretty sure that every funny moment was in the trailer. It was one of those where you got everything they had in one shot and they just wanted to get you in, but all the funny stuff you'd already seen. So I wasn't super excited to see this movie today. But, as always, we go in with an open mind. Sitting down to this movie, it starts out a little slow and the buildup of how it works is a little wonky. You're probably asking yourself, why is the cop taking an Uber? It does explain that. I'm not going to go into it. In case you see the movie, you can enjoy that and uh, enjoy the ride. <laughs> see what I did there? As you go into this movie, it really has positives and negatives when it comes to the overall feel of the movie. Now, I think that it has its moments. There are some truly hilarious moments. Some one-liners, some back and forths. There's a uh, interrogation scene about halfway through the movie that I thought was absolutely hilarious and creative. Some of the fighting is really well done, although some of it's kind of stretched out. My issue with the movie is that the chemistry between the two of them, I don't feel it really worked. I don't necessarily think it was the fault of the two actors. I think it was how they crafted the Stu character, the Uber driver. It looks like they tried to take Batista's character, this grizzled, masculine, macho police officer with a bit of a pass, and then they tried to get the exact opposite of him. Like they took a checklist and just wrote opposite words and then made the other character that. The problem is, that doesn't make a realistic character. The Stu character didn't work for me. It didn't make sense. It didn't feel like a real person. It didn't feel like someone could react that way and do those things. Um, and that kind of broke the movie for me a bit. Obviously, when you're watching a buddy movie, you need both of them not only to have charisma together, but to work through their own storylines as the movie goes along. And I liked the Batista character storyline. I didn't really care for the other storyline which is unfortunate because he's a very talented comedian. And I think that if, if they would have grounded his character out a little bit and maybe wrote him a little more realistically, he would have just ran with it. It would have been amazing. So what we have here because of that is kind of a mediocre movie. It is funny at times. It is action driven at times, but overall, because the character development and the character driven aspects of it only half work, it kind of falls flat. Um, at the end of the movie, you're kind of just mad with the resolution because you didn't really get that invested with both characters. So I'm gonna give this movie a, a seven out of 10. Uh, it's worth the see for some laughs. There are definitely some really good laughs. I'm thinking through my head, a couple of them make me want to laugh again. But overall, it's just a mediocre buddy movie. Um, if you're looking for something that is uh, super well written and it's going to have a big impact, this isn't it. Just uh, get some snacks and uh, sit back and turn your brain out for a couple hours and just have some fun. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We give you multiple videos every single week. And we have t-shirts available if you're interested in those as well. Those are available down in the description below. We hope you'll follow us into the Vortex. We'll see you next time.